Here are seven ways pharmacy investigations may begin. Number one, data analysis. Big organizations like the DEA, the Drug Enforcement Administration, the DOJ, the Department of Justice, or state agencies keep an eye on prescription data. They're looking for odd patterns, like a pharmacy giving out way more of a certain drug that seems normal. Number two, tips from people. Sometimes someone, could be anyone really, sees something sketchy and decides to tell the authorities. These anonymous tips can come from the public or even people working inside the industry. Number three, whistleblowers. You know in movies when someone inside a company secretly tells the authorities about something bad going on? That's a whistleblower. They can sue the company on the government's behalf under what's called the False Claims Act. Having problems with your pharmacy? Reach out to me right now at darshan at kulkarnilawfirm.com. Number four, patient complaints. If patients feel that something's not right, they might file a complaint. This can be with the state boards that oversee doctors and pharmacies, like the Texas Medical Board or the like. Number five, insurance investigations. The Texas Department of Insurance and other groups may do audits. They're looking to see if everything's above board about how pharmacies bill for medications. Number six, billing audits. There are special contractors like RACs, MACs, and UPICs whose job is to look for billing mistakes or shady billing practices. This is another way for investigations to start. Number seven, strike forces. Imagine a team up movie, but for government agencies. They share data, work together, and stop fraud. This includes a bunch of different agencies and programs like Medicare, Medicaid, TRICARE, and more. So in a nutshell, pharmacy investigations can start in a bunch of different ways, but it all boils down to someone noticing something just doesn't look right. To avoid legal problems with your pharmacy, call me at 302-252-6959.